Hi, my name is Yuri Kolesnichenko. Uh, I'm a medicinologist from Moscow, Russia, and today we talk about inguinal guernia and the practice of pediatric sonography. An inguinal guernia is a condition in which the contents of abdominal cavity enter the patent inguinal canal, and not only fluid. The presence of only fluid uh, is called uh, hydrocele, uh, and this includes the cystic form. Uh, uh, the nook cyst in female and uh, spermatic cord cyst in boys. In case of inguinal hernia, uh, the contents of the hernia sac are usually the great amentum and intestinal loops. In boys, uh, the hernia reaches the scrotum. The hernia is sometimes also called the inguinal scrotal hernia. In female patients, uh, an ovary can also enter the hernia, which can sometimes be confused with the mass of another origin, uh, for example, in nuke cyst. In my practice, such hernias was always strangulated and require emergency hospitalization and consultation uh, with a hospital surgeon. But of course, sometimes such hernias can be not strangulated and in such cases, ovary will be not alone in the big hernia sac. If you have doubt uh, the cystic or solid cystic mass lesion identified in the groin area is an ovary, uh, then look for uh, ovaries in a small pelvis. If you have not found them, then urgently send the patient to the surgeon. If you do not work in a hospital, then it is best uh, to bring the patient to the surgeon office if it's in the same building uh, personally and make sure that the surgeon is there. He, uh, hear you and understand what is being said in your case. Uh, because we are all human, the surgeon may not be there, uh, appointments are often overloaded and doctors get tired, patients make noise and distract doctors uh, who often do several things at the same time. If the surgeon is not there, then uh, go to the district or duty pediatrician, uh, head of pediatrician department or hire. Otherwise, in the event of unfortunate coincidence of circumstances in the future, a representative of law enforcement agencies may want to talk with you. Uh, some tips uh, for performing ultrasound of inguinal canal. Polypositional scanning, especially if the guernia is not visible in the supine position, then it is imperative uh, to scan uh, in the standing position of the patient. Sometimes the patient is also uh, uh, asked uh, to bend slightly back or to do a salva test, uh, deep breathe and strain the abdomen. In the case of small children, when you need to scan in the standing position, you will need one more person a parent or an other adult accompanying the child, a doctor or nurse. If you, uh, if on ultrasound you visualize the filled bladder and do not see the inguinal guernia, then it is imperative to do the follow-up ultrasound after emptying it uh, after urination, because the full bladder can interfere abdominal content to enter into the inguinal canal. You should also understand that an inguinal guernia will have to be differentiated with other mass lesion of the groin and scrotum, in particular with enlarged lymph nodes, uh, as well uh, as uh, with slipomatosis osmotic cord, uh, and uh, idiopathic necrosis of scrotal fat, lip lipomas, liposarcomas. Uh, the ovary can also enter the femoral guernia, even the gallbladder can enter the femoral guernia, ovarian torsion may occur in inguinal guernia, uh, testicular torsion may occur in inguinal canal and can uh, be associated with inguinal guernia, and inguinal guernia may contain the bladder. What else is desirable to indicate in the conclusion of the ultrasound scan? Uh, first of all, the presence of peristalsis in the intestinal loops, the presence of blood flow in the solid uh, content of the guernial sac on the color flow mode. Of course, if your device has a color Doppler option, uh, the presence of grayscale signs of necrosis of intestinal loops, thickening, changes of structure, uh, the presence of echo signs of gametopia cell. Uh, inguinal ring diameter optional, the ratio of the diameter of the neck of the sgernial sac uh, to the bottom, not necessarily. In a direct criterion for strangulating guernia, uh, the surgeon will understand uh, this in case of unsuccessful attempt to correct it. 
Of course, uh, he or she most likely will not do this if, uh, in conclusion of the sound scan, you describe the echo picture uh, of the necrosis uh, of content of the genial sac. As in many other cases, ultrasound is only an initial method for visual diagnostic of the groin area, and to clarify diagnosis, uh, computer tomography or magnetic resonance uh, imaging can be recommended. But in practice, this happens very rare. Some case from my practice. Uh, the case of Ingel Gernia, a middle school child uh, in the Children's City Hospital, uh, was sent for ultrasound scan. Uh, with uh, uh, diagnosis of, of edematosis scrotum. Ultrasound, we see a solid content without peristalsis, presumably the momentum in the inner canal. In another case of inner gernia with hydrocele on both sides, an infant with hydrocele uh, and suspected inner gernia in the Children's City Hospital, sent for ultrasound. On the sound, we can see anechoic content in the both uh, hemiscrotum uh, as well as intestinal loops uh, inside of inguinal uh, rings or upper third of the inguinal canal. We can see it here. Uh, next case, inguinal testicle, uh, testicular torsion and inguinal gernia, two-year-old child. Uh, in the Children's City Hospital uh, with complaints of mass in the left groin that appeared two days ago for, and after examination of surgeon uh, he was hospitalized and sent for ultrasound. Ultrasound we can see a testicle in the inguinal canal with a hydrogenous structure without blood flow at CFM color flow mode uh, We can see it here, the testicle. In another case of so inguinal gernia with an ovary, a newborn girl with a mass in her groin uh, in the Children's City Hospital sent for ultrasound uh, with suspicion of inguinal gernia. Uh, on ultrasound, we can see follicular structure in the inguinal canal. Uh, we can see it here. Uh, with blood blood flow at CFM only in the vascular pedicle, gernia neck, which is uh, here. Uh, another case of strangulated in gernia, an infant in polyclinic was uh, sent for urgently by a surgeon for ultrasound scan. On ultrasound, we can see intestinal loops in the inguinal canal uh, um, with a narrow neck. You can see it here, thin neck. Uh, another case uh, uh, of inguinal gernia with an ovary. Uh, uh, we can see the ovary in the inguinal canal, uh, looks like kidney. Uh, thin neck. In other case of inguinal gernia with an ovary uh, with uh, a single uh, cystic appearance. Uh, uh, which, uh, which can be misinterpreted as another cystic mass lesion in this area. Another example of inguinal gernia with a vermiform appendix, uh, a nine-year-old child uh, uh, came to a clinic uh, with complaints of uh, groin area enlargement uh, and sent for ultrasound scan after surgeon consultation with suspicion of inguinal scotal gernia. Um, ultrasound scan in the prompt position in the groin uh, there is only a fluid, but in the standing position, we can see a crescent sign, solid content, presumably momentum, and uh, even an appendix. Recurrent inguinal gernia in our case, a five year old child in the Children's City Hospital with uh, 
complaints of enlarged groin uh, in the post-operative uh, area. Uh, this is a condition after inlagernia surgery. On ultrasound, we, we can see a solid content in the inguinal canal, diametum, intestinal loops. And another example of strangulated inlagernia with hematopoia cell, uh, necrosis of intestine. We can see uh, on ultrasound uh, uh, narrow neck uh, of the gernial sac uh, here, intestinal loops, some lesion with septa, which is hematopoia cell. And after the correction of the gernia, we can see uh, uh, some uh, structure, lenticular structure uh, in the inguinal canal. Uh, and uh, after reposition of the gernia, um, uh, blood was obtained per rectum and surgery was performed in, in this case. Another case, uh, this is inguinal gernia uh, with uh, intestinal gas, a reverberation effect. A newborn uh, uh, with suspicion of strangulating in gernia, uh, sent for ultrasound scan, and we can see uh, the echo pattern of reverberation, like uh, a lung echo pattern, lung with an air. We can see it here, testicle and intestine in the inguinal canal with the gas. Inguinal gernia with uh, a vermiform appendix, it, it is another case. Uh, we can see appendix in the scrotum and another intestinal loops. Uh, this is newborn child uh, with enlarged scrotum. Uh, sent for ultrasound scan, and we can see the um, um, solid content, uh, anechoic content with septum, uh, uh, intestinum with thickened wall. This is piocele and uh, um, inguinal, inguinal scrotal uh, gernia. In other uh, case of inguinal gernia with reverberation uh, artifact from gas in the intestine, we can see it. Uh, we can see it here. This intestine in the scrot uh, in the inguinal canal. A case of uh, free inguinal gernia in the same child. We can see it one, two, three. Uh, which was confirmed in the surgery, uh, and uh, one side it was uh, two of them direct and indirect. In other case, uh, it is uh, of mass lesion in the groin, uh, and this is an enlarged lymph node. Teenager with complaints of pain. We can see a lymph, uh, lymph node with uh, increased blood flow. This is acute lymphadenitis. Another example of enlarged lymph nodes uh, with uh, destructive lymphadenitis. So we can see uh, enlarged lymph nodes with unclear contour with uh, some uh, gyperhoic uh, lesion around and gyperhoic fat. Uh, a tissue around. Um, this is uh, uh, destructive lymphadenitis. Gipehoic uh, uh, lesion uh, is uh, an abscess. And uh, in another case, uh, this is a rare case of lymphomatosis spermatic cord with idiopathic necrosis of fat, uh, with reverberation artifact like gas. Um, and this is an infant without com any complaints uh, on screening. Uh, and ultrasound, we can see in the scrotum some uh, gyperhoic uh, uh, mass lesion on both sides of uh, scrotum 
in both game scrotum um, thank you that's all